<clears throat> Ahoy, Facebook! I'm Captain Axton, and this is my first mate. Pirate Joe. Welcome to the U News, Episode 9. Maxton, I hear ye hosted the shopping cart float parade. Aye, Pirate Joe, I did. Tis were some good shopping carts to be seen. DJ Sade also conducted some interviews while I was there. Whose shopping cart was the best of all? Let's find out. I'm here with the U News. I'm here with Jesse Chandler. I'm the Assistant Athletic Director for Compliance. I work over in athletics. Cool. Who is also one of the judges for this competition. What did you think of the competition? I thought it was great. I thought a lot of people showed a lot of spirit and they really got into it and worked with the theme of the parade. It was fun. Great day. So Awesome. So I'm here with Dr. Siciliani. Um, we just finished up the homecoming parade. How did you feel about those shopping carts? Uh, I thought it was really incredible. It was difficult for the judges though because they went by really fast. So we were thankful when they started spinning around and doing poses for us because we were having to score them on four domains and it was hard. But who was cool. who's your favorite? <gasps> oh no. You know what? I actually had with my scoring, I had like four tied for first place with my scoring. Yeah. But I'm an Alpha Delta, so I tried not to be biased toward them. They weren't in my top scoring bracket. I made sure I was very careful about that. But yeah. Well, thank you for coming out and judging it. You guys did a great job. And how did you get picked to be a judge? Um, you know, <laughs> I don't know how I get chosen for these things. <laughs> I think um, I, I hosted BMOC yesterday for for Monday. When was it? I don't know. It all blends Sometime together. Sometime this now. week. Homecoming week. <laughs> anyway, I think yesterday was my fifth year of hosting BMOC. And then before that, I was a judge. So I think... From that, um, I think I teach a lot of classes and I get to see a lot of you and you guys know who I am and you say my name and then you ask me to do things and I love it. So here I am. All right. Well, thank yeah. you so much. We love thank you too. <laughs> Here in the pirate house? I 
believe you mean the pirate house, but yes, big man on campus. The Divine Diva reported on it, right, Captain? Aye, Pirate Joe. Let's take a look and see who was the biggest man on campus. Hi, yes, this is Devon David with the U News. We're live at the here at the Big Man on Campus. I'm sitting here with the contestant. They did a fabulous show in regards to sportswear, their talents, as well as the former wear, and they were asking a very informative question. I'm going to start off with the first gentleman that's sitting to my right. What is your name and what's your major, and why did you pick being a Big Man on Campus? My name is Charlie Kinnison. My major is musical education with the emphasis in voice. And I wanted to be, do uh, Big Man on Campus just because it's a great opportunity to meet a lot of people, um, to meet new friends. It's just a great opportunity to get your name out in school, especially as a sophomore. Um, not a lot of people know me because this is my only second year here. And it was just a great experience. It was a lot of fun. I had a great time. How you doing? My name is Marshall Lee, and my major is criminal justice and criminology. The uh, reason I decided to do Big Money Camp because it's a great way to raise money for a, a specific charity. I don't know, I'm not sure which one they choose, but like I said, it's a great way to raise money for the charity. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, uh, I've been doing jujitsu for six months now, and it's something I'm really interested in, so, yeah. My name is Ryan Robinson. Uh, my major is industrial organizational psychology. And I never really thought about doing Big Man on campus until the ladies of Delta Zeta brought it up to me. And I figured it would be a great opportunity to raise money and uh, just have a good time with fellow Greek life and res life communities. So, yeah. My name is RJ Miller. Uh, my major is media studies, uh, advertising. And I got involved in BMOC uh, because my girlfriend Sorty asked me to do it. And I also just really like to get involved in UMSL. I, obviously, I love UMSL. The song, as the song went, so uh, so it'd be a good way to get out and show people how to have a good time. Thank you so much for your time, and um, give a wave to all the ladies and all the Omso fans. And you should tell them, uh, remember America Idol? One, two, three, four. Which one should they choose? <laughs> you guys like well, number one, number two, uh, number four. So you tune in live. This is the uh, You Radio. This is the Divine Diva signing out here at the Big Man on Campus. This is where the map takes us. Uh, Pirate Joe, it appears to just be an open space. Aye, it is a big open space. Mm -hmm. Big enough for a dance, in fact. A dance? That reminds me of the homecoming dance we sent our crew to at the Union Station Marriott. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Yes, let's see some footage. <laughs> This is the Divine Diva with the U News, and we are here at Homecoming with the new King and Queen of 2010. I am so grateful to be here. I want you to introduce yourself and basically tell me about this experience. Okay. My name is Jillian Richardson. I'm a junior elementary ed. This has been a crazy experience being just at UMSL and being crowned. I don't even know what to say about it even more than that. <laughs> and we're going to speak to the King, your name, and uh, what was this experience like? Hi, my name is Tom Dixon. I'm a sophomore here at UMSL, um, and this it's been like a really crazy experience. Um, I didn't expect this, but uh, I just want to thank everyone that voted for me and all the support they showed. Uh -oh. Uh oh man. Uh oh. You okay? You okay? okay. <laughs> that was the contestant. He was so excited to meet the king and queen. He ran through. I want to. He was very excited. And tell me about the first dance for you too. We really didn't know what to do at first. Um, the song was pretty awkward, but we just kind of went with it and we sang to each other, which was pretty neat too. One last question, what do you promise to bring as king and queen uh, for the coming year? Well, I really want to improve school spirit on Olmsel's campus exactly. because I think that's a giant thing that's, that our school really needs. Yeah, our sports aren't as bad as people think they are. We just need some support, yeah. we need some people in the stands and we can really rock it out. Yeah. Can we say congratulations once again? They are fabulous together and apart. I want to thank you. This is Devon Diva with Sound Out for the U News. Here live at Homecoming, we do it big, right, right? What you want? Cat, do you see an X anywhere around here? I don't know, Pirate Joe. Let me search with my good eye. Ah, oh, Pirate Joe over here. There it is, good eye. X marks the spot. It's over the U. It appears that the U is the treasure of this journey. The U is a hidden treasure right here in the middle of the Millennium Student Center. Aye. And that wraps up another episode of the U News, Pirate Joe. So it does, Captain. <laughs>
I'm your Captain Action. Join us again next week. up another episode of the you deuce join us next week <laughs> take a look and see who was the biggest man on campus <laughs> 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 <laughs>